Donna Sue Groves of Adams County, Ohio, initiated the barn quilt movement in 2001. Donna's grandmother quilted during family visits, and her skill made a lasting impression. Barn quilts enjoy a unique history, just as fabric quilts do. While the earliest American barns were not usually painted at all because of the expense, beginning in the mid-1800s, they were often decorated with different types of folk art. This included colorful wood quilt blocks, that were affixed to the peak of the barn. In the early 2000s, barn quilts started showing up again, thanks to Groves. Her barn quilt trail was partly initiated as a way to create a more robust economy in Ohio, while also preserving family stories about the people who not only built the barns, but added to the rich farming history of the area. Since 2001, the barn quilt trail has grown to include 40 states, and Canada. Groves believes that quilts have power. Just about everyone has a quilt story and remembers a quilt. Do you have a quilt story to share? While not nearly as time consuming as quilting by hand, making a wood quilt square results in the same colorful and expressive result. Provide each student with one 8x8 wooden panel. Choose a background color for the quilt square and spray the entire wood panel that color. You can sketch a quilt square on gridded paper or just start adhering geometric shapes to the background of the wood panel. Be sure to leave areas of the colored wood panel exposed. It's also helpful to make a very light two inch grid on the panel with a pencil as a guide for placement of quilt pieces. Since the base for the quilt is an eight inch square, it's easy to use shapes that are based on one inch units of measure. For example, a two inch square could yield two right triangles or four one inch squares. Cut strips, squares, and triangles out of adhesive Wonder Foam sheets to apply to the panel. Now, add your shapes to the panel. For smaller detail or other shapes, include shapes from the bag of peel and stick shapes. For all the materials, a PDF, and teaching standards, visit dickblick.com slash lesson plans.